Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Your Knowledge. So today we're going to be checking uh, Arteriovenous chant. Before we continue, I would like to share with you John 8 32 and says that, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Amen. And who do you think that is the truth? Well, if we read more in John, so we can know, and all the other chapters in the Bible is Jesus. Okay, so now, arterio venous mouth. Um, no malformation shunt. I mean, there's a malformation as well. Okay, basically. <laughs> Arteriovenous shunts result from the formation of arteriovenous fistulas. So how they form? So by the arteriovenous fistulas. Okay. So basically, it is when the artery or the vein so they join and they, they become one together. Okay. So this and this arterio uh, this arteriovenous fistulas. So it's an abnormal communication so between as I mentioned an artery and vein so that bypasses the arterioles okay the arterioles the measure of resistance in the vascular system okay so basically let's just say here um we have the art the artery we have the vein but then there is going to be this abnormal communication between the artery and the vein, okay, that bypasses the arterioles, okay, so should be, this is the artery, let me just put a name here, artery, this is vein, and then uh, should be here another which is the arteriole, I'm going to just do it just like this, we know arterioles okay but then this is going to be instead of being together okay um probably doesn't look st uh, then so become like this so then the arterioles the lungs then this one continue here continue here continue here and then come the vein Okay, so bypass that, and then this uh, anterior venous malformation. And remember that the arterioles, the arterioles, are important because regulate. um the resistance okay so because the regulate uh, regulate um the resistance okay so basically in the arterioles they are okay for example they they have the receptors where is going to there's going to be vasodilation or vasoconstriction okay so yeah it's regulated by the arterioles now um yeah probably let me just do this a little bit uh, yeah okay yeah it's better probably there just arterioles are smaller than than arteries okay now when um so the arteriovenous chunks allow blood under the arterial pressure to directly enter the venous system Okay, so that's mean instead of have this regulation, instead of have this regulation as we can see right here. Oops, I raised. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just clicked that. Okay, so instead of have this regulation here with the arterioles, so this artery, so is going to directly to the vein, and there is not going to be ready the vein to receive the pressure that the artery has okay so now let's see 
so the 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 this 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 chunk so so allow the blood under the arterial pressure to directly enter to the venous system as we mentioned before now the arterial venous fistula can be congenital or acquired so this 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 could be congenital or acquired so that's mean that if it's congenital you born with it but if it's if it's if it's acquired so that means that you get it with something that's happened to you so for example it's a secondary secondary to a penetrating injuries or alternatively created for dialysis access so secondary for two things let's see so penetrating injury whoop yeah you know what why we just better go down yeah so we have more room so let's just go yeah secondary can be yeah, let's see let's see if we, if we start here yeah so penetrating injury yeah or could be as well this is one of the reason or could be yeah yeah trigenically so by so when the physician for example is doing the so is doing the dialysis you know to connect those so that's happened too so okay this uh For example, um, in dialysis. It's an example, okay? Dialysis access. Okay. Now, and in patient that has an um, arterial venous fistula, physical examination may reveal. So, what is in the examina? The physical examinations can reveal. Whoops! These are just not the okay. Reveal, reveal, reveal. So it's going to reveal. So imagine if you have a if you have an artery directly to the vein instead of go to the arterioles that the arteries regulate the pressure and then enter to the capillaries and then go to the vein. So but you directly go to the vein and then you skip the arterioles. How do you think that the patient that has that has this arterial venous uh, uh, shunt or or fistula, sorry? Uh, um, how do you think that in the physical examination is going to be? So you're going to have a pulsatile mass with a trill on per patient. So reveal a pulsatile mass with a trill on per patient. Okay. So you touch it and you feel the thrill. Okay. So, also you can do auscultation, and in the auscultation, so you are going to see, or you can, you're going to hear that the patient has a brute on the side that it is the 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 uh, arterial venous shunt. Okay. So now. So now, what else we can say here? A lot of things. Okay. So, um, would be good that we're going to mention now um, how the in if you have um, the pressure volume loops. So, which is something, something like this. So, for example, you have this. We're going to draw this graph here. Okay. So in in this graph, so we're going to have, for example, the pressure. Okay, so we're going to have the pressure here, and we're going to have the volume here. Okay, so <clears throat> we can represent, for example, um, um, a left ventricle. So left ventricle, left ventricle. Okay, so we have 
we have the volume okay and then we have the pressure okay and then depends so we just go oops sorry so you can come just like this got it so depend if there is a changes in the volume or in the pressure so this this can change so for example if there is a change in the volume so then it's going to be just like this for example okay but the pressure basically stays pretty much the similar okay or could be let me just draw one more here so let's just see oops sorry yeah, let me try to do more straight so remember the, the let ventricular pressure the left ventricular volume now it could be that you keep your volume but then your 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 volume for example could be decreased okay but then your pressure increase okay so yeah so those are some examples there are several ways to see these okay but let's just talk a little bit more um in, in another slide so yeah so basically um we're going to see this um just copy the paste here okay and then let's just do a small a little bit small smaller because we need more room to write okay probably that's just fine yeah so in the meantime remember that also in the heart we have valves and all those things so all those things we can uh, see it here but yeah so now we're going to just focus more in in the pressure volumes um these loops that they are going to represent the relationship between the pressure relationship between the pressure and the volume okay now in for example in this case we're using left ventricle during systole and diastole okay systole and diastole now oops sorry now the the arterial venous shunts increase your cardiac preload so that's mean that if you have a chant just like this one so your 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 preload your preload is going to increase got it yeah and by in increase your preload by increasing the rate and volume of blood flow back to the heart so that's mean that increase your preload so how so increasing increasing the rate and the volume of blood for sure back to the heart this is basically preload back to the heart <laughs> okay now this uh, so if if that increase your your preload so that's mean if we would like to represent in a loop so it's going to be for example just like this so again we have your left ventricle your left ventricle we have your left ventricular pressure yeah and then in the in the uh, actually we have left ventricular volume okay so this is normal for now it's to be stinging normal okay 
but if the patient if the if the patient has a chance and the 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 the, the patient has a has an um has a fistula so then we're, we're going to see that it's going to reflect on the by the elongation of the diastolic filling segment and it higher in the diastolic volume so the av chunks allow blood to bypass the arterioles the peripheral resistance is reduced as we mentioned before but decreasing the afterload as well now the How, uh, when you have this bypassing and decreasing your resistance and decreasing uh, your 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 after load so how we can represent it in this one so that's mean that your 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 pressure will be decreased because you have a chance okay less pressure but now you have less pressure because that is less regulation that is going to be more blood in the veins and that is more blood in the veins because that is an uh, um, the the veins doesn't contract as hard as the other so decrease your pressure but then you're going to have more volume you're going to have more volume because that is a less preload okay so that means they're going to be more more blood stuff there okay um Sorry, 30 seconds ago, one minute ago, I said that increased your blood, I think. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned I think that was decreased, but no, it's, it's increased. So, I mean, it's right here. It is okay here. And I first at the beginning, I mentioned right. Then I think in the middle, I said decrease. But yeah, just in case that was, uh, it's all the time increased blood. Okay, so this is what I'm trying to say. Just probably in 30 seconds, I just went away that thing. But yeah, um okay so i think that basically we are, we, we are done with this one here and well thank you so much for joining us and hopefully you learned something and remember we can do all things through christ thank you so much and god bless you all